Daybreak with Matt Barbette and Helen Fosbarrow. Good morning, it's six o'clock on Wednesday the 22nd of May. The top stories this morning. Now let's get the news from Helen. Thanks very much, Matt. Good morning. Rescue workers in Oklahoma say that they're 98% sure that no more survivors will be found in the rubble of the homes and schools destroyed by a giant tornado. Nine children were among 24 people killed. Lucy Watson's around 600 Afghan interpreters who risked their lives to help British troops are to be given the right to live in the UK. Our political editor, Sue Jameson, is at Westminster. So it sounds like the government's had a change of heart over this. Around half of all violent crime in England and Wales is alcohol related. New figures show it takes up to a huge amount of police time, as Nick Dixon reports. Dennis and Andy Murray has withdrawn from next week's French Open due to a back injury. The British. Where's the summer? Where's I the know. summer? We had it last week, I think. Sorted out already. Yeah. Let's have a look at the front pages for you. And we start off today um, with the mirror. As you can expect, uh, the Oklahoma tornado is making the front page of many of the um, papers today. Um, Heroes of the Apocalypse is the headline there, and it tells the story of the brave teachers who lay on top of terrified pupils to try and shield them as their school was flattened by the tornado. Of course, we'll be hearing lots more from Ross and also Lucy shortly in the programme from Moore in Oklahoma. Um, a picture also from the tornado makes the front page of the Times, and their main story is the 600 Afghan interpreters who have won the right to live in Britain, a story that uh, we touched on just now in the news. Again, another picture of the devastation in Oklahoma on the front page of The Guardian, but their main story is about Nick Clegg saying the Lib Dems will uh, remain committed to the coalition until 2015, but still will plan to issue a stark warning to the Tories today to, uh, as he would put it, get their house in order. We'll be talking to Sue about that a little bit later on. Front page of The Mail... Uh, this is a story about contacting your GP via email. This is the NHS Confederation boss, Mike Farrow, who we've had on the sofa recently, saying you should do that instead of seeing them in person. Let's just get a shot there of an amazing picture of Sharon Stone at 55, looking radiant. She, you know what? She doesn't look a day over 35 in that picture taken she off her like at Cannes. She looks like she first did when she was in Cannes 20-something years ago, promoting Absolutely. basic instinct. I think. It's just phenomenal. Purpose, wasn't it? Amazing, amazing. Good look at that all day. But we can't, yes, no, because we've got a show program. to do. Still to come, we look at how booze... That's coming up after the latest news, weather and travel, where you are. Welcome back. It's uh, 12 minutes past six. Residents and emergency workers in Oklahoma are now focused on recovery and rescue as the full extent of the tornado damage continues to emerge. Well, it's now been confirmed that 24 people have died in the disaster, that figure lower than first thought. 101 people have been found alive in the rubble and 237 have been injured. Well, this is the path of the tornado, the path that it took, reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, wiping out two schools and a medical centre. And that's where we find Ross King this morning, who's in the heart of the devastation. And standing where we are, Ross, it's just almost impossible to imagine what the devastation must be like. Ross in Oklahoma and Lucy as well, of course. Thanks both very much uh, for the time being.